About a week ago, I made a life-changing decision. And I know it's not that life-changing, but it's still kind of life-changing because it was a very permanent decision. And as someone who's very indecisive, it was kind of scary, but I was also very excited considering I've wanted to do this for literally years. As some of you guys know, September is a month for suicide awareness and prevention. And last week was National Suicide Prevention Week. And the 10th was the World Suicide Prevention Day. On the 9th of September, there was an event going on at Eternal Tattoos in Howell, Michigan, which is about half an hour away from where I live. They were doing semicolon tattoos for a minimum $5 donation, and all of the proceeds were going to suicide prevention charities. They were also doing $20 off piercings and cool stuff like that. And my grandma said, Riley, you're gonna go get a tattoo. She tagged me in it a couple weeks ago on Facebook. She somehow managed to convince my parents, even though I'm only 17 and they kind of raised me and we're like, no tattoos until you're on your own and not financially dependent on us. But somehow she managed to convince them to let me go. So on the 9th, I waited six hours in a really, really long line and it was very, very hot, but they provided snacks and water, so it was all good, in order to sit down and get this tattoo. And I did it. I actually did it. I got this tattoo. For those of you who don't know, suicide and self-harm is something that I have had personal struggles with for pretty much my entire life and the semicolon project was something that really really helped me pull through it. I started drawing a semicolon on my wrist almost every day from the time I was 13 to try and like rid myself of the temptation for doing something stupid and now it's here permanently. You can kind of see it. I'll put a picture up here on the screen but it's real. It's here for the rest of my life. Like it's here and honestly I'm pumped about it. Getting the tattoo was honestly so much fun. My tattoo artist, I cannot remember her name, but I will put it in the description below. She was the nicest human being, honestly, and she was so psyched that this was like my first tattoo. And honestly, I think I have tattoo fever. Like, I cannot wait to go get another tattoo. I'm getting one when I turn 18. My best friend Sam, I don't know if you guys see my interactions with him online. He lives in Wales, he's an artist. He's drawing up a tattoo that I am gonna get, and I'm so excited to get his art permanently tattooed on my body. But like, the tattoo like didn't even hurt like at all and they were like oh yeah it's just kind of like this discomfort and I was like I wasn't even like uncomfortable and it wasn't really discomfort it was just something that I was aware of that was happening like I could feel it but I wasn't like uncomfortable it wasn't like unpleasant it was just kind of like there but I got it and it's real and it's here and on my body for the rest of my life and that's kind of scary but also I know I've wanted it since I was 13 so it's not something I'm gonna regret and you know what if I do regret it tomorrow it doesn't matter because I don't regret it today and that is something that I will remember it is something that I am happy to have it is something that makes me very happy and very excited in the moment so if later down the line I'm like man I wish I didn't get that tattoo at least I can look back and be like hey it made me happy it had a purpose it had significance and I also went out and spent ten dollars on these two itty bitty things for my tattoo aftercare, the Aquaphor for a few days, and then the Lubriderm for like the two weeks after as it's healing. I don't know, I already posted it on social media. I was originally gonna do a really artsy video of me like getting the tattoo like a lot of people have done when they get their first tattoos. But the thing was is that I waited in line for six hours and I had brought my camera and everything but I put it back in the car because it was so hot. We were all kind of miserable. There was like a lot of people there and I just wanted it to be a special experience for me and I didn't want to have to worry about like filming the entire thing so I hope you understand I hope that makes sense but the point is is that it's now permanently etched onto my body thank you semicolon project for helping me out like I said I'm so pumped to get my next tattoo probably on my 18th birthday which by the way is in less than two months I'm turning 18 I will be a legal adult and I am a little terrified. Okay, that's all I really wanted to talk about today. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and comment down below, do you have any tattoos? And if you don't, do you want any? I look forward to reading your comments and replying to some of those. If you want, you can subscribe to my channel because I post two videos a week, one on Tuesday, one on Thursday, and that is two videos a week coming your way. If you want to see all of my posts about getting this tattoo and everything, you can follow me on my social media, which is at the Riley Kyle on all platforms. The links to all of it will be in the description below. I am excited to be back on this YouTube train and make everything good and decent again. I'm excited, I'm pumped, I'm getting ready. My shop is taking off, I don't know if y'all have seen, but that's exciting, link to that below. Okay, I'll stop rambling now, I just want to talk to you guys about that. I love you guys and I will see you guys on Tuesday, okay? Bye.